Good morning, kids. I hope you all have done the activity that is about the map showing the minerals. Now, today we'll do the exercise of this chapter. We'll continue from page number 55. So, here you can see chapter checklist. You have to tick the concepts which you have understood. Here, the first given exercise is rearrange the jumbled words. So, you have to pause the video and arrange them. I hope you all have done it. Now, let's check the answer. The first word is alluvial. The spelling is A L L U V I A L. Second word is erosion. E R O S I O N. Third one is mining. M I N I N G. Fourth word is laterite. L A T E R I T E. Fifth word is metallic. M E T A L L I C. You have to write it in your notebook. Now let us move to the second exercise that is rectify the following sentences. The first sentence is humus is the top layer of the earth's surface. So one word you have to replace it. Second one is laterite soil is dark grey or black in colour. Third, mountain soil is mainly found in areas of Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. So here one word you have to replace that word. First you have to underline it and then replace it. Fourth one, the minerals from which we get metals are called non-metallic minerals. Fifth, iron found in milk helps us to build strong and healthy bones. You have to pause the video and complete it. Now let us check the answer. So the first one, humus is the top layer of the earth surface. So here you have to write soil instead of humus. The second one is laterite soil is dark grey or black in colour. So you have to write black instead of laterites. Third one, mountain soil is mainly found in areas of Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. So you have to write laterite instead of mountain. Fourth one, the minerals from which we get metals are called non-metallic minerals. So you have to write metallic instead of non-metallic minerals. Fifth one, iron found in milk help us build strong and healthy bone. So instead of iron you have to write calcium. Calcium found in milk helps us build strong and healthy bones. So you have to write all these exercise in your notebook with proper date. Now let us move to the third exercise. Now let us move to the third exercise that is you have to write true or false. So first one all minerals are metals. So you have to write the correct answer. Limestone is found in Jharkhand. Coal is used for cooking and heating. Petroleum is a mineral oil. Iron is found in New Delhi. I hope you all have marked it. Now let us check the answer. So the first one, all minerals are metals. It is a false answer. Second one, Limestone is found in Jharkhand. It is false. Third one, coal is used for cooking and heating. True. Petroleum is a mineral oil. True. Iron is found in De New Delhi. 
So iron is found in Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh and Karnataka. Now let us move to the next exercise that is answer the following questions. So here you can see the first question is what are the different types of soils found in India. So the different types of soils found in India are alluvial soil, black soil, red soil, laterite soil, mountain soil and desert soil. Second question is what causes soil erosion? So soil erosion is caused by the following reasons strong wind and heavy rainfall which remove the top layer of the soil. Second is clearing of forest for agriculture and construction of houses also affects the soil. Third question is why should farmers grow different crops one after another on the same land? So the answer is farmers should grow different crops on the same land because growing the same crop in a particular land reduce the fertility of the soil. Fourth question is what are metallic minerals? So the metallic minerals are those minerals from which metals can be extracted. For example gold, silver, iron, copper. Fifth question is identify the following images. So three images are given A, B, C. You have to identify them. So the first picture is of copper, second is of limestone, third is petroleum. Now let us move to the next exercise that is think it over. Here the question is your parents always ask you to switch off lights and fan when you leave a room. Is it important to follow this? Why or why not? So the answer is it is very important to switch off lights and fans when we leave, leave a room because switching off electronic gadgets save energy. Now we have activity corner. So here there are two parts. First part is activity and the second part is be a geographer. So the second part we have already done it. So you need to do the on only the first part. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.